Well, it's been over a year since I made the original video. Do I feel any differently? Do I still uh, think that um, if taxation is theft, then property is theft? Well, unfortunately, I still believe that point of view. Um, I still don't think that there's any basis for uh, saying that taxation is theft, simply because ownership, the idea of property in and of itself, implies a broad agreement on what property is. You can't just have property if no one else recognizes it. It's just something that is. Property is a concept. Concepts only exist here. Anyway, uh, that's my, uh, my point of view on that, and it hasn't substantially changed since the original video. What came up, actually, when some discussion began on the original video, though, was the number of thumbs down that the original video got, and it, was, it got my mind working a little bit. Um, about why it is that this one particular video got so much negative uh, feedback. Well, the people that I actually sort of debated with on this subject tended to approach my point of view that I'm just plain wrong, that you, you, one person just said, just go back and think about this. You haven't thought it through. Think about it. Um, no actual... Um, points were raised or anything sort of disputed that I have said uh, in, the, in the original video, just you're just plain wrong and if you think about it you'll actually, you know, you'll probably come to your senses or see reason or see reality here or, or see the, the, the errors in your own argument. Well, I went back and I looked at it and I still agree with everything that's in the original video so I guess I'm still kind of, I don't know, wrong in a general sense. Um, but some other people actually uh, started in with the, uh, with the personal attacks, which again I don't mind. I really don't. If you're if you're afraid of personal attacks, then don't uh, don't um, don't post on YouTube. Um, but they were personal attacks from people who actually came at me, uh, seemingly from a position of reason and science. Now that's very interesting. That's very interesting. I used to actually, in my younger days, actually argue with people uh, who self-identified, say, as Marxists or communists or whatever, Trotskyites, that, that sort of political tendency. Um, some people have, all my life, have considered me something of a leftist, but the only people that I actually got into actual arguments, ferocious arguments with, were supposedly fellow leftists, the Marxist set. Um, you wouldn't think that that would be the case, but that is often the case in the real world. The hard left and the moderate left actually hate each other. Um, but one of the tendencies that I've noticed among Marxists is this belief, belief in historical necessity, i.e., Marxism is going to come whether you like it or not, and anyone who's standing in its way is simply wrong and is to be corrected and discounted. Now, the uh, reductio ad uh, absurdum of that is uh, the... Khmer Rouge in Cambodia and the uh, Sendero Luminoso, the Shining Path in Peru, who said, well, anyone who's disagreeing with Marxism is disagreeing with common sense, is disagreeing with science, is disagreeing with phenomenal reality itself, and is to be corrected or killed. I think that's one of the things that I so love to argue with Marxists about, was this absolutely unshakable conviction that their point of view was reality itself. Now, I won't go f so far as to say that the objectivist, libertarian, um, market capitalist, anarcho-capitalist um, tendency, uh, political point of view, economical point of view, is out there advocating that anyone who disagrees with it should be killed. I've never heard anything like that in my life. But what I do hear a lot of is people who get all in a raging huff with, with you if you disagree with them. Be, uh, but the the personal attacks that you do get are things like cognitive dissonance or um, disintegrated epistemology, that sort of thing. In other words, it's just another way of saying that you're stupid, you're wrong, you're, uh, you're, you're arguing against common sense. And I think that's one of the things that, in particular, say, objectivism is an ideology that has struck me as so repugnant and at least latently dangerous. This conviction that anyone who is disagreeing with um, market capitalism coupled with a society of individual um, 
or individualism taken to what one might call an extreme, um, is arguing against science, is arguing against reason, is arguing against reality itself. Now, even if you do believe that, why should that lead you to getting angry with somebody? Um, why, why would it lead you to starting with personal attacks? What I would say is, to anyone who actually does subscribe to any ism, and this isn't just to anarcho-capitalism or uh, libertarianism or objectivism, is be careful of your own connection to it. Do you actually believe this as intellectually as you think you do? Is there emotion in it that you're not aware of? In other words, is that an ism that you don't see to be logical, but it's one that you want to be logical? It's interesting, and I think that um, if people actually questioned isms out there, particularly the political ones, there'd be a lot less totalitarianism in the world, if you ask me. Thank you.